Hi guys, today's tutorial we will focus on how to compete multiple outstream ad units or demand partners in Google Ad Manager. If you have suggestions on other topics that you want me to cover in the future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. What does it mean when we say outstream ad format? Now here's a sample demo. Notice the ad in content here that expanded when we scroll down. Let me go ahead and redo that right there. We sometimes call it as in-content expandable ads, but that's also an example of an outstream ad. There are times that the video sticks on the screen when you scroll past the original ad unit. So here's one example. Notice this video ad right here. This is the outstream ad unit, and when I scroll past it, it sticks right here as a small player in the right hand corner of the screen. That's another example of an outstream ad unit. So let's say for example you have multiple demand partners that offer outstream ad unit or ad format and you'd like them to run on the same ad unit on the site. So how do you go about competing them against each other so that the one with the higher CPM or highest CPM for a given ad request gets the chance to serve the ad. The first thing you need to do is of course set up the ad unit if you haven't done so yet. So go to the inventory section ad units and create a new ad unit. Parent ad unit should be top level and give it a name. Or we'll just call it leaderboard for example. And this is above the fold. Copy for the code. Now for the sizes, there will be times that an outstream provider can just work with a regular ad size or regular banner size. For example, you already have a 970 by 250 configured for this ad unit. If they say that it's okay to target that size, that's actually what is more preferable. Why? Because the outstream unit or ad format can also compete with the other display ad providers and that tightens the competition further. So if you can get your outstream partners to work on your pre-existing display banner sizes, perfect. That actually is true for Primus and AnyClip. So based on experience, these two providers are able to serve on regular banner sizes. You just have to specify the ad size and they will configure it for you. But if your outstream provider is not compatible at all with these regular banner sizes, sometimes they are compatible with one by one or sometimes out of page. All these specifications in terms of which size you can target, which sizes are compatible in Google Ad Manager, it has to be provided to you by your ad rep or the point of contact. So configure the rest of the sizes in here. Make sure you watch my tutorial on how to create ad units or set up ad units in Google Ad Manager and I'll be posting the link right here. All right, once all done, click on save. Next, you can go ahead and create a dedicated order for this. So click a new order under delivery and orders. Go ahead and give it a name. Type in the advertiser name. Set up the rest of the settings in here as needed. Then go ahead and add line item. When you click that button, it will automatically save the new order you just created. Then go ahead, select the line item type or ad type display. Give it a name. Let's say this one is for premise. Set the line item type to price priority. But if this is the first time you are testing the performance against two providers, you can set them both on sponsorship. But the downside of using sponsorship is that it's going to get the highest priority in the auction. So if you have two sponsorship line items competing against each other, and for example, you did that for premise and any clip, then the traffic for the ad unit you target will be split between the two 50-50. To learn more about the line item types on Google Ad Manager, check out my tutorial right here. So you can run that test for about 48 to 72 hours, then determine which of the two is performing a lot better. Then you can then go ahead and switch them to price priority and optimize both of them or all of them based on the true or real CPM. Now on how to calculate or optimize demand partners based on real CPM, Here's the tutorial right here. Price priority because you want them to compete based on their, again, real CPM. The higher the CPM rate, the higher the priority. So then here comes the sizes. Again, 
depending on the size that this provider is compatible with, go ahead and target that. So if it's compatible with 970 by 250, for example, go ahead and target. If they said or told you that it's only compatible with one by one, you target one by one. If they told you that it's only compatible with out of page, then go ahead and target out of page. But it's important that the expected creative in your line item is also configured in the ad unit settings, like what we just did earlier. And it also is important that all your providers will target the same size. So they can compete against one another or against each other in the same size, same set or section of the inventory later. So let's just pretend this is compatible with 970 by 250. We'll go ahead and target that for premise. Set your start time, your end time, and you can set your daily limit if you want to, or you can set it to none if you'd like it to win when it deserves it with no limit. And for the rate, this is now where you put the real CPM or true CPM. But if it's the first day you're running it and the offer to you was, let's say $5 CPM, just go ahead and put five in here and make sure it's set to CPM. So because it's on price priority this time, the only time this line item can serve is if no one else can beat this price or rate. And again, depending on which section of the inventory is targeting and the size it is targeting. So let's say this one is going to target that specific ad unit. Target and set the rest of the targeting criteria as needed. If they told you that it's only going to run for desktop, then go ahead and target desktop. Otherwise, if it's for all devices, then leave it off. Go ahead and save it. Go to the Creatives tab, click New Creative, and grab the tag provided to you by premise choose a relevant standard or creative type here so we'll choose third party which is the most common one and go ahead and paste the code in here provided to you you can uncheck save frame click on save we'll go back to the order and because this is the first time you created the order you need to approve it so click on this button right here to set it live don't worry if it says needs creative it takes a bit of time or a few minutes before Google Ad Manager is able to pick up your settings. So it should disappear if you refresh the page after a few minutes. Next thing you need to do now is create another line item. And this time, for example, we're setting up the competitor here, which is any clip. So go ahead, select display for the ad type still, give it a name. And let's say again, if we are testing and want to split the traffic between the 250-50, and determine which one performs better, you can set it to sponsorship or just set it to price priority if you want them to compete based on their CPM rates. And again, target the size it is compatible with. Set your start time, your end time, and if you want to set a daily limit or no limit at all. And set the rate here that was agreed with any clip. Let's say they told you they want or they offer you $3 CPM, so you put three. Again, target the specific section of your inventory where you want this ad to serve. Go ahead and save. Again, go to the Creatives tab, View Creative. Grab the tag that was provided to you by any clip, for example. Select third party, paste it in here. You can uncheck Save Frame, save. So now you have two competing outstream providers going against each other. Their targeting criteria is exactly the same. And they're running on price priority. One was set to $3, the other one was set to 5 Now here's the downside if this is your setup. Chances are any clip will never serve. Why? Because there's no limit for premise and it's always going to outbid the $3 here. So if you want to prevent that, you can go ahead and play with a frequency cap. So when you go inside the line item, you can set the frequency cap right here. And let's say you want this to be limited to only serve five impressions per hour or per day. Then you can go ahead and save it. You can do the same for premise. Set a frequency cap. And let's say you also limit it to five impressions per day. So this means five impressions per unique user per day. Then you go ahead and save. 
So with this setup, the only time any clip can serve is once pr premise has already exhausted the limit in terms of the frequency cap. So if I am the user, for example, and premise or this line item served five times for me today already, then that's the only time any clip has a chance to serve on my end. Because again, the limit for premise is up to five times or five impressions per day per unique user. Now you can continue playing with their CPM rates. Again, check out that video that I shared earlier about optimizing them based on their real CPM. And you can also keep playing with their frequency caps. Observe how they perform. And ultimately, if you can keep just one of them running because it makes you more money, then it's all up to you. Now, this is not really the fair way of comparing apples to apples, right? And comparing performance between these two providers because Let's say, for example, you have already exhausted all the good paying ads, you know, during the day with premise and what's left for any clip, right? So sometimes using price priority is not the ideal one when it comes to A-B testing. So when you are trying to experiment for the first few days, for example, for these two, use the sponsorship line item. Set them both to 100% and Google Ad Manager will split the traffic equally for the two or between the two. 50-50. In that way, they get an equal chance to serve and you get to see the actual performance of them and you can ultimately decide which one would you like to keep.